The all new 100.3 The Beat, throwback hip hop and R&B. This is the all new Community Connections. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. It is time to get back on the court. Everyone's team is back and they are national champions. I hope you didn't miss all that action last season. But if you didn't or did, you make sure that you don't miss out on this season. Our surge ladies basketball professional, in my opinion, they call it semi, but there's nothing semi about what they do here. Our 2014 national champions have a home opener tonight, seven o'clock. And we want to be in the place. And I am joined today by the general manager and owner, Kalia Collier. Kalia, this team is on a rise. We are national champions are back in action. We cannot be more excited for the home opener this Saturday. Man, the anticipation is huge. Yes, it is extremely huge. Why does it mean so much this year to you? You know what? Because for the past three years, we have genuinely been building organic interest, showing that women's sports is viable in the St. Louis market. Uh, This is our first big marketing year, Jade. So to see the impact that we're making, especially the awareness that we've created, we're about to pack the stands. That's right. So talk a little bit more about this impact. Now, you did a TED Talk at this latest Women's TEDx, uh, which was very powerful, but, but compelling especially about impact. Share a little bit about that. You know what? We're genuine role models and mentors in the community. Um, and you you see that when you see the surge. People feel that. They understand that you're seeing leadership at another level from professional female athletes in our community that's been non-existent for quite a long time. Most certainly has. Now, we're talking about role models and we're talking about influence, but we're not just talking about basketball. No, this is way bigger than basketball. <laughs> we are genuinely champions on and off the court. Um, All of our players are postgraduates, several of which with advanced degrees. And you're seeing a whole nother level. The bonus is basketball. The bonus is basketball. I absolutely love it. And it is a good and fun time. Uh, Real action. Right now we're in the middle of the NBA finals and there's a lot of excitement around that. There's a wave of excitement as well around WNBA, but not nearly to the degree that we would hope for. What do we hope for for that? And then how can we really tie this into our region? You know, the trajectory of women's sports, and you guys will hear me say this again and again, it's only increasing. It's only becoming more competitive, more athletic, more entertaining. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect time. So when basketball ends coming up here shortly with the Warriors and the Cavs, Mm -hmm. you have women's pro basketball right in our city with the surge. That's right. And that's the transition that we're getting people Mm -hmm. to make. The connection. Mm-hmm. Pro basketball, but not semi pro. Tell me the difference between the two. So, semi professional basketball or semi professional sports. You see, you know, guys that played in the the minors that maybe could have never made it in the majors, which is completely different in women's sports. These women are from Georgetown University, Mizzou, University of Illinois. They are all Americans that don't necessarily have the opportunities that men's sports have. So it's nothing semi-pro about us. We are professional women's sports. We are a part of a professional women's development league. um, And it's it's very important for people to understand that. That's right. So we can just toss that that, that label right on off. (laughs) So what do you attribute to the success of last year how'd y'all become national hard work Mm -hmm. hard work continuous hard work i can't say it enough because what we're doing is bigger than basketball but it's the work that we're putting on the court off the court to make the impact and our fans carry that national championship in existence Mm -hmm. Uh, without the support that we're getting from the community for the players to see that hey people back women's sports and particularly women's basketball we don't win a national championship Mm. how are we looking with that support so far Oh, the you know we're I'm always saying if better is possible, good is not enough. We want stands packed at UMSL, so we we still have a ways to we get there, but we're drawing two to three thousand at okay. minimal mm-hmm. uh, this Saturday. But for people that thought we were good last year, Jade, oh my goodness, what oh, yeah? they see this year? Tell me team. about the team. The local talent that we have, nine out of the 12 Is players right? we have are all from the St. Louis, Illinois area. Uh, we have the Incarnate Word Trio, which people have never seen before. <laughs> um, we have players from North, Ta- North County Tech, Hazelwood, Is Kirkwood. Right? Now, this is our talent that goes away to these big universities, and they come right back mm-hmm. here to our city. Mm-hmm. These are our girls. These are our home team. These are our children that have come along the way and have been here all along. Now we can really celebrate them and their gifts. Absolutely. All right. 
right. Tell me who's your star. You know what? I love when people ask because we have a team of stars. Like we are deep. Our bench is deep. Oh, yeah. But of course, we have our returners, Jaleesa Butler from Georgetown University, number 30. We have Rebecca Harris, number 13, our point guard from University of Illinois. Bianca Beck has come okay. back better than ever from SEMO, number one. Oh, man. We, we just we got some new talent that's in from University of Wisconsin. We have... University of Minnesota in the house. Like, oh my goodness, our team is loaded. It is. I love the excitement and passion that you have for ba- women's basketball, for women's sports, for this team, for St. Louis. Uh, tell me what's behind that. I mean, the, here you are, the leadership of this squad. It is passion, it's dedication, it's intensity. Because I say so much that it's bigger than basketball, you see that I mean it. It's genuine in my heart because I eat, breathe, and sleep surge. Yeah, you do. Um, And that's a, I think... People naturally feel that energy because it's real. Uh, what we're ta- what we're doing, what we're building takes hard work. It takes dedication and it takes the community behind us. So mm-hmm. we can't not be engaged. Well, tell me what happens when we come out, when we fill those stands. What are we in for? You're in for an experience. Yeah. Uh, basketball is secondary. We put on a community event for all of our five home games. We have a different theme every single game. Um, and that's what you're coming. You're coming for the DJ. You're coming for the photo booth, the face painting, all the activities that entail mm-hmm. a surge game. That's what you experience as an atmosphere. Yeah, great for the entire family. Oh, and it's affordable. Yeah. You know, when you're coming in the door for $8, <laughs> right. you can afford concessions. You can splurge on some surge gear. That's what I want with family and family entertainment. Yeah, I definitely want some surge gear. I got to get me a shirt. Um, <laughs> got to get me a towel. Now, do you have posters for the players? Oh, yeah. I love those. Oh, the media guides this year are off the chain. Oh, yeah? Yes. Um, we're putting a tie-in of just who our players are. We have some new stuff that's coming. We have a Surge comic book that's debuting. <laughs> our players are superheroes in the community. Mm-hmm. To see that they all have day jobs, they all have careers, and the bonus truly is basketball, that's powerful. That is very powerful. Oh, yeah, and we're driving everyone to buy their tickets, stlsurgebasketball.com. They are selling fast, so don't wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, what time is the game? 7.05 off. Better get there early. I I know, right? (laughs) (laughs) And find a good place to park. Also, make sure everyone else knows how great our team is. They can watch the games streamed live right there on the St. Louis Surge website broadcasting live. So we are syndicated, making sure nobody misses the game. And maybe they'll see you in the stands when you put your hands up and let everybody know that you're having a wonderful time. Champions last year, what's your goal for this year? Of course, to win it back to back. (laughs) We're trying to get two rings right this year. i'm looking at your your hand right now that ring covers like two knuckles right now <laughs> you know a lot of bling but it's got the surge right in the middle the representation of all that hard work the culmination of your team and your passion here in the championship way to go thank you thank you so much it's my pleasure Kalia Collier, you are really top notch. I'm glad to have you here. Owner and general manager of the St. Louis Surge women's basketball team, everyone's team. Make sure you come out tonight. Tip off is at 7 o'clock at UMSL 225 Mark Twain Building. And attention all basketball players, youth basketball players, grades K through 12, arrive in your team uniform or jersey and receive free admission. It's going to be a great time. We'll see you there. Everybody loves the St. Louis Surge. Visit stlsurgebasketball.com for more information and streaming. When we come back, I'll tell you what's happening in the neighborhood, your community calendar right after this. The all new 100.3 The Beat, throwback hip hop and R&B. This is Jade Harrell. Here's what's happening in your neighborhood. You still have an opportunity to experience Black and Blue. Jatana Productions presents Black and Blue by Lee Patton Childs, an original play of hope and healing exploring the assumptions that all young black men are dangerous or that all cops are bad. Friday and Saturday, June 19th and 20th at 7.30 p.m. as well as Sunday, June 21st at 3 p.m. Reservations are required. However, admission is free. For more info, visit gitana-inc.org, G-I-T-A-N-A hyphen I-N-C dot org. Or call 314-721-6556, 721-6556.
And don't forget tonight at the home opener for the St. Louis Surge that all basketball players, youth grades K through 12, arrive in your team uniform or jersey and receive free admission. Represent your team at all Surge home games. Tip off at 7 o'clock tonight at UMSL 225 Mark Twain Building. Streaming live at stlsurgebasketball.com. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to submit for the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 333-8369-333-8369. And for more information about today's show or any of our guests, visit us online at 1003thebeat.com. Look for us next week at 7 o'clock and each Saturday, the all-new Community Connection on 100.3 The Beat. Throwback hip-hop and R&B. I'm Jade Harrell. Be blessed, do blessed, and bless the Lord.